I will never forget when I was uh, in Seattle the first time and we drive with the car over the bridge uh, to Mercer Island and was bumped up kicks in the, in the, in the radio and uh, the sun was out and I, oh, I want to be here and uh, then this was one of the reasons I signed in Seattle and uh, the other reason of course was because I, I knew Steve Sakurani is there and I want to meet this guy so I ended up signing just for you Steve. Thank you. And there it is, franchise history is made by Seattle Sounders. They're through to their first ever Western Conference Final. Four years of pent-up playoff frustration swatted away on a stunning night in Sandy. A landmark, defining moment for Seattle Sounders FC. What are some memories you have from like some of the games or your time in Seattle? Anything that when you think back to that time, some of the things that stick out for you? Oh, it's... It was such an amazing time and I can't uh, imagine that it was just two years to be honest because yeah. it was a completely new life uh, going over with my family. My son is born in Issaquah and, and all the I get goosebumps and yeah. all the uh, experiences on the pitch but also off the pitch was, was amazing. If I, it's not something spe a specific moment I can imagine it was all, all together. Really, experience. When you think you got to experience the fans in Seattle, oh, yeah. so talk a little bit of the fans and the support Absolutely. we get out there. Absolutely. So uh, I think we don't have to discuss about that. The Seattle uh, fans are the number one in the MLS, and uh, from the first moment I was so welcome. Of course, it was. Uh, I had a little bit in my mind how does it go after Casey to replace Casey Keller, and, and, and uh, from the first day I was so welcomed, and the uh, fans gave me the chance to, to be my own. And terrific two years. Want to be a coach without your plan, or you just? To be honest, uh, it was not so much pop, uh, popping up in my mind in the beginning. But I started also when I uh, left America. I started to, uh, to study. I also liked part of organizing stuff, and in this case, it combines the, the goalkeeping with uh, the coordination very well. And, and how can I say? It's not uh, just a profession. It's it's really my life. How are you on the bench? Are you calm? What you will see tonight. Oh, yeah. will <laughs> I'm very energetic, to be honest, and uh, I let it out. Yeah. I try to do, but it's for me fun. It's also having fun. So I'm, it's not that I don't, I, I can't control myself. Yeah. But uh, I know to play the game. You know, have a discussion with the fourth referee. And so yeah, you know, they like me. <laughs> First, you have to, to get it out, and then okay, just kidding, yeah. and, you know. But yeah. they know me. It's out towards Abdullahi. Marcel Hartl is in the middle. Good first touch, and the second is even better. That is unbelievable. The former Köln player doesn't celebrate. Only 25 seconds on the clock over the goalkeeper's head. Union Berlin is a, is a special club and with its history. It was uh, founded now 50 years ago during the period of the German Democratic Republic when Germany was uh, separated after the war. And it was also a club uh, who was not in line of the regime, of the politics. And so it was really tough to be a supporter of Union Berlin. So this is the, the whole history is about this. So we against the rest after Germany was reunited and the, the team has had trouble. Uh, financially, they were in the fourth division, I think. They, they had to rebuild the stadium and they had no money. So the fan base was so strong that all the free sides you see on the other side uh, are built by the fans. 
without uh, without getting any money. So in this this, uh, if you see old pictures, there was nothing, uh, and they built the three sides of the stands. The fans built by their own, and this is absolutely phenomenal. I think never seen before somewhere, and uh, this is. One reason you have to understand is this fan culture is, is something special. This is more than just a club for, for the fans. To be honest, I fell also in love with the city. Uh, Berlin is, is a melting pot. You have to, to feel the city, to be honest. You have to go there, you, you see. When, when, when friends from Austria uh, are asking me, what is Berlin like? And I said, uh, to be honest, it's f***ed up, but it's cool f***ed up. Because it, the city, you can cut it out if it's not okay. Uh, this, the, the city doesn't pretend to be something uh, what it isn't. It's honest. You can see people Sometimes I think people can run naked or with yellow hair or whatever and nobody cares because of this, the city has this history with Second World War and with the Berlin Wall. No freedom at all, a, a split city and uh, that makes the liberty afterwards where people say hey, we are what we are, and you feel it everywhere. So the, 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 city, uh, the city has a special atmosphere, to be honest. I really like to, 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 to live here. When, when we come back in 10 years to do the 20 year anniversary, um, what I hope, I hope you can <laughs> come back earlier. <laughs> but what will we find you doing? What's kind of your goals? What's your ambitions? I want to keep it open, but uh, definitely in my mind. Now I'm very happy to be in, in maybe the leading uh, country of, uh, of football, or yeah. one of the leading countries, let's say like this, and in one of the best leagues. Uh, I have the target with, to, to promote with the team uh, and I think we are on a really good way and I want to, to reach the top level with this club. Uh, yeah, it, it's clear now that I made my way to, from Austria to Greece to, to America. It all makes sense now to me and I also want to keep it in the future like this. It was one of the best decisions to go to Greece and it was one of the best decisions also to, to, to go to America, to, yeah. to meet other cultures, to meet, uh, yeah, to meet different uh, styles of life, different uh, personalities and, and my way of thinking what makes me and my life happy and uh, I'm still connected uh, with Seattle in my heart, definitely. Mm -hmm.